Hi there, this is your accounting coach ARD. Today we are talking about single entry incomplete records. Single entry incomplete records refers to a situation where we do not have proper accounting records. And why is that so? There can be two reasons for that. One is that we do not have a proper a full-time accountant and why we are not hiring an accountant because we are a small business we cannot afford to uh, hire a full-time accountant secondly we have an accountant but due to some reasons our records have been destroyed so nevertheless we need to make accounting records without proper double entry records which is known as incomplete records or single entry so first of all we need to prepare an income statement if it's possible to make one to prepare an income statement we need a revenue figure that is sales now as you may be aware that in, in an income statement we write total sales which is credit sale as well as cash sale so first of all my dear students we need to find out total sales total sales refers to credit sales plus cash sale now how can we find credit sales because in single entry we do not have the figure of revenue given in an examination question we need to find credit sales with the help of a sales ledger control account sales ledger control account is debtors account it is an account of all customers it's a combined account basically for all the customers now customers as you may be aware from your earlier studies that customers are an asset for the business and the nature of asset is debit therefore a balance brought down will come on the debit side if a balance BD is coming on the debit side then the balance CD that is closing balance should come on the credit side now whenever we sell goods on credit our data would go up so the entry would be customers or debtor account would be debited and sales account would be credited now this is the sales figure we need to find uh, then we have bank now what is bank this is received from customers in a single entry question this information is basically given a cash book is given from there you can extract how much money has been received from customers in this accounting period so whenever we receive money from customers this will reduce our debtors account the entry would be bank would be debited and the debtor account would be credited now whenever we allow discount to our customers because our customers are paying us early then it is discount allowed and discount allowed to reduce our debtors balance then if the customers are returning us faulty goods so this is known as return inward also known as sales return sales return or return inward will also reduce our debtor balance then we have irrecoverable debt also known as bad debt so whenever customers are not paying us the amount that they owe to us so this is known as irrecoverable or bad debt and bad debt also simultaneously uh, reduces our debtor okay now if we add up all of the sides and let's uh, suppose i am putting up some dummy figures here uh, for example if the start of the year we have data balance of 1000 the end of the year we have trade receivable at that is data balance of 3000 and we have received 10000 uh, cash or check from customers during the year so we'll be writing 10000 here uh, and if we have allowed customers discount of 500 there is return inward of 1200 and this is bad debt of 300 and if if we balance all of this so the bigger side is basically the credit side the credit side should come on both of the side that is 15,000 and if we deduct 1,000 opening balance from this total figure of the greater side we will be getting the figure of sales now the question here arise my dear students whether the sales is a total sales or it is a credit sale or it is a cash sale it is my dear students only credit sales why because whenever we make a debtor account in a debtor account there comes only credit sales because if we sell sell goods on cash or through check that never comes in a debtor account the entry would be for that debtor account uh, the entry for cash sales or check sales would be cash or bank would be debited and sales account would be credited okay so the debtor is only and only born when we sell goods on credit okay so this is the credit sale not the total sales the credit sales we have already calculated and that is 14,000. Now the question here arise sir, is there any other way to calculate credit sales apart from making this sales ledger control account that is debtor account? And the answer to this is yes, we can calculate credit sales by another way and the way is first of all we need to write the bank. 
again the bank figure is the amount received from debtors during the year that is bank now you may be aware from your earlier studies that whenever there is an accrued balance at the end of the year no matter whether it is an accrued income or whether it is an accrued expense the accrued is always added at the end of the year okay so this balance cd is also accrued trade receivables or trade payables these are also accrued balances so the accrued is added at the end of the year and if we are adding an accrued at the end of the year will be deducting the accrued at the start of the year okay so the closing accrued would be added and opening accrued would be deducted okay so uh, all other items such as discount return in word irrecoverable debt all other items are added as well and why are we adding all these items we are adding all these items because these items should form part of the credit sales figure okay so whenever uh, when we allow discount to our customers we only allow discount allowed to our credit customers the cash discount is being offered to our credit customers why because they're paying us the money earlier than they have promised okay so the discount is basically given to credit customers so uh, if there is a credit sales then only we can give discount to our credit customers therefore this discount it is added to the figure of credit sales and return inward whenever we are selling goods on credit therefore the return inward arises and the bad debt is also refers to a situation we have given credit to our customers and the customers are unable to pay the amount due to us therefore we will be adding the bad debt as well now the bank figure we already have that is 10000 the closing accrued that is closing trade receivables balance is 3000 the opening balance that we have is 1000 and we if we add up discount return inward and bad debt in the end we will be getting the figure for uh, credit sales that is 14000 now that we are done with calculating credit sales we have 14000 credit sales now the question here arises sir is in the income statement do we uh, use the credit sale figure or the total revenue figure we use the total sale figure therefore we need to add cash sale in the credit sales in order to arrive at the figure for total sales okay now how can we calculate cash sale uh, most of the time to calculate cash sale in an examination question we need to make a cash account that is cash in hand as you may be aware that cash in hand is an asset for the business so the opening balance for asset will be on the debit side if the opening balance BD comes on the debit side then then the balance CD should come on the credit side my dear students whenever we sell goods on cash the entry would be cash account would be debited you may be aware that the left hand side is debit and the right hand side is credit okay cash account would be debited and the sales account would be credited so this sales uh, cash sale figure is missing and we need to find this cash sale figure in single entry uh, scenario then whenever we deposit cash into the bank the entry would be bank account would be debited and the cash account would be credited okay so we are crediting the cash account and on the other hand we are debiting the bank account okay so the cash account is being credited with a reference to bank and whenever there are some expenses through cash or whenever we are doing drawings through cash the entry would be expense or drawing would be debited and the cash account would be credited so let us put some dummy values here uh, for example at the start of the year we have one thousand dollar cash in hand and at the end of the year we have cash that is 2500 okay so we have deposited eight thousand dollar into our bank account okay then we have incurred some expenses or we have drawn money for personal use that is two thousand okay if we add up all of this and if we balance this cash account the greater side would be credit side because it is the greater side uh, and the greater side would come on the both sides and uh, if we did a 1000 from this total figure we'll be getting the figure of sales now what sales is this this is my dear students is the cash sale okay now the cash sale is 11500 and the credit sale we have already calculated to credit sales and if we add both of these sales credit sales and cash sale will be getting the figure of total sale now my dear uh, students what if we do, we are not being given the cash in hand balance in an examination question we do not have opening balance neither do we have a closing balance so now what do we do what should we do now if we do not have cash opening and cash closing balance so we do not need to make a cash account okay my dear student just remember one thing cash account will only be made whenever we have cash balance whether we have opening balance or closing balance or we have both of the balance uh, if we do not have opening or closing so we do not need to make cash account what we need to do we just need to add the cash deposited into the bank 
and the expense or drawing need to uh, in order to calculate cash sale so the logic behind is that that we have deposited 8000 to the bank and uh, where from where did we get this amount this amount is being generated from ca through cash sale okay and we before depositing this 8000 into the bank we have already spent 2000 on uh, basically a drawing or maybe for business expenses through cash so if we add up both of these the 10000 would be cash sale but in this uh, question, we have opening and closing balances as well. So we, don't, we need to adjust those balances as well. Therefore, we need to make a cash account as well. Now, my dear students, uh, if we are done with calculating cash sale, now the next scenario is we need to calculate uh, total purchase. Now, you can find total purchase in the part two of this video lesson. Thank you.